Welcome back, NGDL fans, to another exciting NGDL week from the Miami Dolphins. So we're going into this matchup 7-4 and four against the St. Louis Fletchinders, and these guys are leading the Red Division, the other division in our conference. And um, they are 8-3, and three, so one of the best records in the league, and I think it's uh, only uh, second behind a couple of others. So um, this is a really, really good team, but they've lost two straight games. Um, so they're kind of on a losing streak. I'm hoping to take advantage of that fact. We really do need this win because we, uh, you know, take this win. We are going to advance to eight and four and really, 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 hopefully solidify our playoff um, chances. If we lose, we fall to seven and five in a very, very, very close Canto Conference, um, which features use, which we already lost to, and uh, Vancouver, who had also hauled the uh, tiebreaker arrested due to the division record. So um, losing here would actually probably put us. Um, you know, in a uh, bad spot for the playoffs, but winning could definitely really help. And this is probably the best, one of the best opponents we've had all year. He was actually had the best record as of, uh, well, two weeks ago at 8-1. and one. Um, So we're hoping that we can take advantage here, and hopefully um, God will uh, prevail, a.k.a. Arceus. Which, uh, if you missed it, last week we did transact Mega Blaziken. The Mega Blaziken experiment is over. We transacted it for literal God here, Arceus. And um, it helped us win our first game, and I'm hoping it will, um, you know, help against, you know, one of the best teams in the conference as well here. St. Louis, though, has um, a lot of threats. It's easy to see how they are 8-3. and three. Um, They have Zygarde, which obviously they can use any of the forms. They can go for speed with Zydoge if they want to, um, or they can you know, just obviously go for the bulk of, you know, Zygarde 50%. Can't use Zygarde 100 because that's... Uh, Obviously, oh, uh, sorry, Uber, and he played OU Price for it. But um, also he has Victini, and he's actually been favoring Z. Um, and, and I mentioned this in my last uh, battle. Z celebrate Victini, which obviously has a really scary ability because you know a rainbow boost in a league is always going to be scary. So I had to really prepare for that. Mega Blastoise is bulky. It can wrap its spin. It can hit hard. He has Scolipede, another just really offensive and scary threat because with speed boost it can obviously um, get faster than pretty much everything. And just kind of murder the competition, especially when it carries a Z move. Um, so he has Zong, which I'm expecting to see because um, it can obviously resist uh, my Arceus stamp. I'm only allowed to use normal Arceus. And uh, as for his remaining Pokemon, I expect to see all the Pokemon in the first row. I'm not entirely sure. I'm kind of thinking that he might try Vikavolt or uh, Miltank or um, possibly, um, which is one transacted Pokemon, which is Zangoose to his access to. Um, close combat, but uh, we shall see what he's going to do. As I said, the hype is real. This is a super critical match, um, and it will probably have severe playoff implications for both teams, as uh, Yus is obviously uh, kind of uh, chomping on his heels on the red division, and um, I'm just trying to you know stay alive for a playoff berth. So there's the teams. Uh, pretty much what I expected, the wildcard Pokemon is going to be Miltank, and, um, actually I was kind of thinking, you know, okay, I might be able to set up a Miltank with Arceus. Um, I'm not entirely sure what it can do to me. So, yeah, I feel kind of good about this matchup going in. I'm going to go ahead and leave the Raquinid, and immediately he's going to surprise me here, leading with his Golipede. And I'm like, you know, at the very beginning of the match, I, I kind of wrote down that this might be Rocky MZ. I know that he's been favoring the Z Celebrate set on his Victini, but at the same time, I kind of think he might go for the Choice Band because he wants the extra power against my bulky Pokemon. So I'm just going to go ahead and uh, switch in a Dawn fan, expecting maybe the Rockium. Instead, he just goes for a um, Toxic Spikes, which I'm thinking, okay, that's fine. I'm just going to go ahead and wrap its spin. If it, this guy has Sash, it'll break it. Uh, if you want to switch out, that's fine. He's going to go into Bronzong. I actually don't have anything for Bronzong. I was kind of like toying between my moves, and I knew that not carrying Sucker Punch would leave me a little bit uh, walled by this Bronzong on my um, Dawn fan. But I decided to go with um, Stone Edge instead, and you know... Uh, so I can hit his, like, Vika Volt and his, um, what is the other thing I really wanted to hit? Uh, I believe it was his, oh, duh, Scolipede. But anyway, he's going to go for his Stealth Rock, what I expected as I go out into my Araquanid again. And I'm just going to go ahead and go for the Sticky Web. Um, I was tempted to go for the Liquidation, because I know I can 2-8 KO Bronzong, at least with the standard set. But, um, no, he's just going to go for the Toxic, so, um, you're going to see in this match, he's going to bring, uh, a lot of Poison Pokémon. Or at least a uh, toxic Pokemon, and uh, with toxic spikes, he wants to wither down my very bulky draft, and uh, it's a pretty good move. So, um, yeah. So now I'm toxic poisoned. That's uh, kind of kind of annoying, but um, he's gonna go with his Mega Blastoise. He's gonna get that minus speed. I'm just gonna go for the Liquidation, which will uh, actually do some decent damage. Like Liquidation does more to Blastoise than um, my uh, Leech Life does due to Water Bubble ability. 
But um, no, he's just going to go ahead and Mega Evolve now. And uh, I decided to go for the Toxic Cure, thinking that he might have a bulkier Blastoise set. But looking at this damage with Dark Pulse is definitely uh, pretty offensive on this uh, Blastoise. So um, I kind of wish I just went for the Leech Life here. It might have been a better play, but whatever. I'm going to get this thing Toxic Poisoned, and uh, at least that's, you know, you know, consistent damage on the Blastoise, which is uh, going to be a pain in the rear anyway, and uh, he doesn't have a way to reliably recover his health, which is nice. But anyway, he's going to go ahead and Rapid Spin away this turn, which... Kind of looking back on it, it was pretty obvious. I should have probably either tried to set back up um, my sticky webs or, I don't know, just switched. Um, but whatever. So I'm just going to get the Leech Life on him. Unfortunately, I'm not going to gain enough HP to really matter, so I should probably liquidation again since I would have done a little more. But uh, whatever. He's going to go Dark Pulse now and just kill my Araquanid. And uh, yeah, that's kind of bad. But at the same time, I traded this thing for a Mega Blastoise, so I'll probably take it. Uh, pretty fair trade, actually. I'm just going to go to my Dom Fan. And actually, with the. Uh, Take a web. I'm actually going to be able to speed this thing, and I'm just going to go for the rapid spin to kill it, which it's always kind of funny when you kill the rapid spin, because not only do I get rid of his stupid rocks again, but, um, yeah, it also kills the Mega Blastoise, and I don't have to take that thing, uh, move whatever he's going to go for. Probably Hydro Pump. I did have the Assault Vest, but I still don't want to take that damage. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and switch out. Go into my Spirit Tome here against the Bronzong. I kind of expect him to set up the Stealth Rocks again. Like I said, I don't really have much for it. He ends up going for the Toxic and missing, so um, I'm going to go ahead and take that, and uh, I'm just going to go ahead and pursue this Bronzong as he tries to switch out, and uh, yeah, it does a uh, quite a big chunk with my black glasses. Um, unfortunately, it does appear to be like probably max defense, so uh, it doesn't uh, actually even hit it into red. But it does cripple the Bronzong, so that's that's pretty critical. Anyway, in comes Mill Tank, and um, he's going to go in for the Toxic. So once again, uh, carrying Toxic on another Pokemon, trying to wither down my bulky draft. I go out into my Uxie, and uh, yeah, I, this is uh, just going to be a dual screen Uxie again. I'm actually kind of um, really like it, especially when it's trying to set up uh, Pokemon like Arceus and previously Mega Blaziken. So, just gonna go for the Stealth Rocks because I want to break any particular, you know, any Sash you might have. And um, unfortunately, he does have the Seismic Toss. So, that's gonna actually do some pretty nice damage to Uxie. He's gonna do 50 and it's gonna ignore my massive defenses. So, that's actually a pretty good play. But, um, yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, go for my Reflect because uh, that's the more important of the screens. I would have liked to got both. I would have liked to get both of them up, but now I'm like, okay, what does this guy possibly have here for Arceus? I'm gonna go for it, guys. I have my reflect up, and uh, yeah, this stupid cow's in my way. I'm gonna go for an SD and just see what he does. If you want to go for the toxic, that's fine. I have refresh on this Arceus this time around because I kind of expected some status to be thrown at me this uh, battle. So um, yeah, he's just gonna go for that toxic, and I'm like, okay. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna get a little greedy here, I'm gonna go for the second SD, I don't think there's a whole lot this guy can do to me offensively, especially with the Reflect Up, so, and I know that I need plus four to kill some of his bulkier Pokemon, like Zygarde, and he pops the counter, so that's scary, and I, right now I'm thinking, okay, Focus Sash for sure, um, I need to be, I need a way to either break the Sash here against this mill tank, force it to switch out so it'll take Stealth Rock damage, um, and then maybe I'll go ahead and set up Arceus again. So, I'm just going to go ahead and U-turn here with Thunder. It's a pretty safe play. If he stays in, it breaks the Sash that he might have. Um, and obviously, if he switches out, I get a uh, pretty good matchup. And he goes into Bronzong. I'm like, okay, I still have my Reflect up. Even if this guy has... I know for a fact he doesn't have the normal gem because I already saw Leftovers. Um, so, even if he does explode on me with the uh, Reflect up, it's going to be like 30% at most, I think. So, it's like, whatever. Um, you can set up Rocks again if you want, but I'm going to go ahead and set up on you. Because, uh, yeah, at plus four, I should be able to KO pretty much everything he's having, including his Victini and his um, Zygarde, which will now take Stealth Rock damage, or even if they have a Sash, means nothing to me. So, I, I, in my in my mind, I'm off to the races. And here I'm going to go ahead and pop the Z-Refresh. And if you guys don't know, Z-Refresh is going to actually heal me completely. I might have popped this off probably at an inopportune time, but in the back of my mind, I'm still thinking, okay, if this thing explodes on me, I mean, it would do 30%. I would, you know, take another bout of Toxic Poison... And uh, might put me in range that I, I might get threatened by an extreme speed from a Zygarde. But, um, yeah, maybe a little mistimed there. But um, I'm like, okay, at this point, I just don't really think he has much to do to me. I'm just going to go ahead and go off to the race. Is he going to go ahead and toxic me again? Uh, maybe I could have, you know, refreshed again to get rid of it right here. But at the same time, I'm like, nah, we're just going to go for plus six. At plus six, it doesn't even matter. Nothing matters. You're just going to get obliterated by God. So here we go. Plus six Arceus. Will it make it happen? And this is like the dream. Plus six God here. We have max attack. And it, it, we have extreme speed. A move that literally cannot go second. Unless he has like Choice Scarf Zygarde randomly. 
So I'm just going to go ahead and go for the Shadow Claw to get rid of this guy. And uh, I actually probably could have killed his extreme speed, but it doesn't matter. Um, it, it's dead, and uh, he's going to go into his tank. And here I'm like, okay, what's his last move? You know what? I bet it's going to be Protect. I was predicting Protect here, so I decided to go re uh, Refresh, which is a super risky play, by the way. If he went for the um, Seismic Toss, it would have killed me, but no, he goes for the Counter. I'm like, okay, why is he going for Counter? I don't know. I don't care. You're going to die, but what the hell is this? What did you just eat? What is the freaking... Cholian what? Chillan Berry? Who has heard of a Chillan Berry? Apparently it's an item that reduces damage from not, you know, obviously because normal moves can't be super effective, but all s normal moves. Um, and I was super pissed because I had no idea this freaking berry even existed, and he just used it to have my god die to a cow. So at this point, I'm really scared because he still has like his full HP, Victini, and Zygarde. I'm just going to go into my Thunderous here and just Dark Pulse away this guy. And at this point, I don't even know what to do. I'm just going to stay in a Dark Pulse. He's going to go Toxic Spikes against me, which is kind of weird. I end up critting, so that's kind of nice. I mean, it would have been 2 hit KO anyway. But now that he has plus 1 speed, I'm thinking, okay, if he does have a Rock Move. But I don't think he does have a Rock Move, because he didn't use it earlier. Um, instead, he has Endeavor, so he definitely had the Choice, uh, you know, the, sorry, the Focus Sash on it. Um, and, of course, he lived at 1 HP, so now he's going to hit me down to 1 HP. And I'm like, well, here's his two heavy-hitting threats. Can I handle it with my ragtag team of PUs and a 1 HP Thunderous? I have no idea at this point. Um, but I'm going to go for the Dark Pulse. He ends up not killing me with an Extreme Speed. Instead, he's going to be a Dragon Dance set, and that's clearly a bulky Zygarde. It doesn't take that much from Dark Pulse at all. Um, well, it actually does decent damage. I'm just going to go for it again, and he's going to be greedy and go for another Dragon Dance. So I don't know if he just doesn't carry Extreme Speed, but um, now he's at plus two, plus two. But I'm actually thinking, wait, I might be able to take care of this. I did carry, um, you know, Ice Shard on my Dawn Fan, and, and because he, like, let my Thunderous live, I'm going to go into Dawn Fan here, and I know I can KO with an Ice Shard. And um, even if he Extreme Speed me, and at this point I'm not even sure if he has it, even if he does Extreme Speed me, I know I can take one at plus two, and I'm going to be able to get the kill on this thing. And now it comes down to Victini, and if he has Z-Celebrate, I'm thinking, okay, that's fine. If he's easy celebrate, I get the EQ off, and even if I don't kill, I should be able to kill with, with my uh, Spirit Dome. And if he's Choice Band, he kills me here, and I kill him with a Sucker Punch. So, somehow, somehow, my friends, he ends up being Choice Scarf. He kills God with a cow, using an item that no one's ever heard of, and he pays the price. This is what happens when infidels kill a god with a cow, using an item no one's ever heard of. They get wrecked by an elephant. May you all take this wisdom to heart at the uh, conclusion of this battle. But seriously, uh, super excellent match. I mean, it's every bit of what I expected. I expected him to use some kind of strategies I've never really considered. And honestly, I had no idea that I even existed. And now that I know it exists and I'm posting it here, obviously other NGDL owners are going to be aware of it, even if they weren't already. So I'm going to maybe have to alter my... RC strategy accordingly from here on out, but um, no, it's a super excellent match. Uh, obviously, Quilliam23 is an excellent uh, battler. Um, he made probably the mistake at the end after killing Arceus, which is definitely what he wanted to do with his mill tank. Uh, maybe letting my uh, Thunderous live a little too long. Underestimated the Thunder God, uh, but uh, no, that was uh, that was an excellent match. And uh, eight and four is definitely where we needed to be at the end of this week. We have uh, obviously um, four games to go. And, uh, yeah, we, we're going to, re re realistically, if we can win two of them, we'll have a decent shot. I would like to win three at least. Um, but Arceus is going to hopefully pull through, and uh, the Dolphions escape another week. We don't know what happened with uh, Saltfire yet, obviously, in this week. Um, he's obviously leading the division at 92, but if he loses, we'll just be one game back. And, you know, that rematch with him will be super important, so... Knock on wood, hopefully Saltfire will find a way to lose. Um, but, anyway, today's question of the day is going to be this. What is your favorite berry in Pokemon? Now, obviously, uh, you know, berries are interesting items to use. Um, not always the best competitive uh, items, but they definitely made uh, them a little more competitive um, in recent years. Uh, they added, you know, interesting berries. Some of them aren't even released. Probably my favorite one is the one that's actually not released in Gen 7, um, but I'm still going to, you know, say it's a valid answer. Um, it's the one that um, when you survive with 25% uh, or lower, it triggers, and then your next move gets to go first in your priority bracket. I forget what it's called. Let me look it up. Yeah, it's called the Kastop Berry, and uh, it's pretty cool. I always liked using it on Golem, actually, uh, in Gen 6. Uh, I really hope that they actually release it again in Gen 7, but it might be one of those items that they like, eh, I don't feel like releasing it because I don't like it anymore. 
Um, kind of like the uh, gems, but who knows? Anyway, leave a comment about that, and see you guys again next time. Later. Bye.